at uh, Connection Christian Church, we've just always had this culture of don't do ministry alone, uh, building in some teams, raising up leaders, and, uh, and I, I've really just tried to, my best to invest in people to give them responsibility and, and delegate workload to them. And uh, through the course of time, we've been able to see a number of different guys, uh, you know, especially through our, our teaching team. Uh, we have a half a dozen guys that on any given Sunday could stand up and deliver the message that are part of the church. And, and only really a couple of them have been trained in as pastors. And so that's, that's great. Uh, one of those guys, uh, we've been really working on Danny Salazar uh, with the idea that uh, maybe he could uh, leave the church and, and plant someplace else, uh, or at least could partner in uh, doing a campus, something like that. Uh, we've also uh, really been trying to stretch into the Hispanic community. Columbus has uh, got a very large percentage of Hispanic population. It just seems like such a missed opportunity. And so uh, recently, this past summer, we came across a, a guy uh, Fernando, who we had mutual friendships with, uh, who's just finishing up Bible college. We're entering into a, a phase of residency with him uh, where we can bring him in, teach him about the, the culture in Columbus, teach him about what connection looks like, uh, but with the idea that he's going to start a, a, his own church, maybe with inside the walls of connection, uh, but it would be a completely independent church. Church planning is a great way to capture a new, fresh vision and uh, to reach a, a group of people that maybe uh, by the established church has, has gone forgotten. And that's something that we have a heart for and, and beginning to see that evolve to, to not just in our region, but like across our state. What can we, we do to reach more and more people in Nebraska with the love of Christ? Quite honestly, we're not there yet. We haven't officially like sent people like strategically, but we have had because Columbus is such a transient community. A number of people that have been with us for maybe six months, a year, two years, and having this mindset that people, when they come in, like they might be here for a season. And then through that season, we want to grow them up. We want to help them to mature with the idea that whoever leaves, wherever they go, we're sending them out. They are a missionary now of Connection Christian Church. Uh, and it can be really hard because maybe that person is really, really active. Maybe they're a great leader or financially they're a great contributor. And as a young church, you think, how are we gonna make this up? Who are we gonna find? But God always just has a way of replenishing the source. And when we can understand that He is a stream of living water and that we get to be a conduit, we get to be a part of what He's doing. And it's not about growing up an individual church, it's just to be being faithful to the call. And when we're faithful to the call, it's not our people, it's God's people. And we release them because they're His.